Hi there, I just wanted to say something about the eclipses. Um, we've just had a lunar, a total lunar eclipse uh, in the sign of Gemini um, on December the 10th and eclipses happen several times a year, solar eclipses, lunar eclipses. A sun sign uh, astrology forecast can only give a general idea about how the eclipse energy may be affecting each one of the signs. Um, and so um, if the eclipse degree was connecting with a point in your natal chart then um, and uh, as well uh, you know your your sun sign or even better still your rising sign and even your moon sign then um, one of these uh, um, one of these interpretations shall we say which are very brief, um, may help you to uh, use the energy mostly to your advantage. So for you Aries, uh, the eclipse energy connected with your uh, communication sector, so that means there could be a new approach from you or uh, an important piece of information that comes along or a letter or some sort of correspondence that helps new beginnings um, and uh, improvements to happen for you uh, and it can be centered around education, travel, transport vehicles, uh, also media, creative self-expression. Um, and for you Taurians, uh, if the, the eclipse degree connected with an important point in your chart then it was lighting up the area of um, assets and talents and making the best use of those whether that's money or something from the garden or uh, one of your skills or your talents um, so the eclipse energy uh, could um, help you to uh, um, benefit and capitalize upon uh, things in a material sense over uh, a few weeks or a few months to come and and that goes for all all of the signs as well it can be over the coming month or it can be over the coming months uh, for, for Gemini, of course, the eclipse was in your sign, and that means that you should be taking first steps or more steps to uh, uh, further your very unique aims, ambitions, your direction. It might mean that you have a makeover, you want to do something nice for yourself, um, improve your image, change your image. Um, but also, as I say, it's about you getting on a, with making a, a fresh start with things in your life, um, whether that's, you know, you might be in quite a small way, but it can also be centered around cl a close relationship or close relationships. For you Cancerians, um, it, this eclipse energy will be uh, um, um, activating your unconscious, your subconscious, anything going on in the background, anyth anything to do with um, <clears throat> work that you're doing on behalf of others beavering away behind the scenes at something. It can be quite artistic and mystical and imaginative or spiritual or psychic, this, um, this area here. And it is, as I say, to do with dreams and about manifesting your dreams so you can make um, fresh starts there. Leo, the eclipse is impacting the area to do with, a very social area, is to do with friendships and also groups of people. And um, it will help you to get... Um, really get into gear with making progress with something that you've wanted to do for a very long time. And this this bodes well for you because you're already getting a good um, a sort of wave of energy coming uh, into your sign, especially you early Leos, from uh, Uranus, um, the planet Uranus, which is in Aries at the moment. So this, this is a time when um, you can be really making good progress. With Virgo, this is the, uh, this eclipse energy is hitting the the area of your chart to do with your general life direction, your goals and ambitions, whether that's just little things you want to complete or some some sort of big master plan. Um, it will help you. It will, tr it will trigger fresh beginnings. It will help you to see how to improve things related to those areas. Libra. Um, this is highlighting an expansive area, uh, helping you to uh, make that one step to expand your mind or expand your physical territory in some way. Could be travel involved or education or um, just learning new things or connecting with somebody who's got a very different and f refreshing slant on things, which helps you. Anything which any activity or or, or any um, mental um, activity which gets you out of the daily grind. Um, 
uh, with this uh, where the eclipse is for you. Scorpio, uh, it's in your area of joint resources. Uh, this is a good time to have a sort of a heart-to-heart -heart talk with someone, uh, maybe uh, on an emotional level, but it can also mean on a, on a material level because it's, it's about joint interests. So you, you supplying them with something that they, that, that, and, and then supplying you with something in return or vice versa. Um, and assets and responsibilities that you share with someone uh, may need reviewing and clarifying at this time. Also, joint expectations in a close relationship may need um, clarifying as well, and you can with the Eclipse Energy. Uh, for Sagittarius, joint expectations in a relationship may need airing or discussing or putting right or putting the cards on the table um, if an important point um, in your natal chart is is uh, connecting with the Eclipse degree. So you can have, get the chance to improve things in those areas. Capricorn, the lunar eclipse. Um, is could uh, very beneficially underpin health and well-being um, that's your own or somebody else's uh, also um, it can allow you to um, make use of the energy to improve things in in the job um, market or employment market or, or with with your with your daily chores your daily routines either at work for somebody else or, or for you at home in in your daily routines um, and um, also around health it can mean there can be a step in the right direction with um, health providers, um, skilled trades people, teachers, advisors, anybody performing something practical for you but also it can mean um, improvements that you can make um, in, any, in any service that you're providing for yourself you know on, on very practical levels you see whether that's physical or whether that's something else. Aquarius um, it's, uh, it's going to trigger an area to do with um, you feeling uh, your power, you, you getting into pursuits and activities that you really enjoy and maybe feeling more free and competitive, um, socializing more, um, feeling more spontaneous with people or with whatever you're doing in some way you're, you're coming your 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 power is coming up and so you can shine um, in your own very special and unique way and you Pisceans uh, the uh, lunar eclipse is connecting with your area to do with um, the roots of your you the roots of your life the very foundations of of, of your life internally and externally could help with the professional side with the general life direction but you've got to get the roots right you've got to get the foundations right and so this eclipse energy once again it's neither negative or positive as with all of the signs it's just an energy of change which if you're working with nature you can understand how to make this work for you because eclipse energies and all of the vibrational energies of all of the planets is just nature and so we ought to get really uh, more on the side of nature and get behind nature because um, of the wisdom of nature uh, instead of always trying to overcome it and, and sort of repress nature uh, which we have done historically um, so anyway um, with this eclipse energy for you Pisces you can um, um, you can take uh, certain steps to project the right image in a worldly sense um, be consistent um, in, a, in a professional sort of way but also um, make certain um, decisions maybe or improvements related to your, your general life direction and that's it for all the 12 signs this is just almost like a sort of a, a kind of a little um, a cross section really um, eclipses as I say happen quite often and that is just um, a, a kind of extra little bit of input for Christmas uh, or for the holiday season uh, whether you're celebrating Christmas or not and I'll see you the next time hope you've enjoyed that